November is brown trout time. And this is when the big brown trout come up to the Great Lakes tributaries. The big hook jaw males, th those really nice big dream size fish show up. Now it's when we have our opportunity um, for these fish. Hope you enjoy watching us catch a few of these things. We're going to spend some time tying a fly, an egg beater that we use, one of our fly patterns show you that in action and then we're going to go out and catch a few fish so I hope you enjoy this and please follow along the Estes egg this is our Estes egg our variation um, we've been messing around with a few different ones we finally settled in on this one we call it the egg beater the last few years it's accounted for a lot of brown trout and a lot of steelhead so it's picked a nice um, slot in our standard setup the hook I like to tie these things on is a Daiichi uh, 1120 size 8. Uh, even though this fly was designed to be a small fly for low clear water where we would tie them on 12s and even 14s, uh, we've been doing well on the larger sizes too. And here for this demonstration I am going to tie them on the larger size just so that we can see what I'm doing. Put one in the vise. The thread that I'm using is just in this case it's some some orange standard um, fly six odd uh, tying thread that we use and we're just going to kind of get it started up come up in here with some fine sparkle yarn I think this is the small or the extra small I can't remember I have to look on a spool and the spool says it is mini so I guess it's the small stuff come down to about where the barb is. That's usually where I start and finish my flies on these curved shanks. And we'll just butt wrap this up here to create a kind of a nucleus or yoke like appearance to this fly. Even though we don't see it too much it does seem to help a little bit. Come back over it, secure it. For this case I am going to be tying it in a um, ah, this is a butterscotch Estaz large get it in here tied in on the tip get back over here and get cheap with the estas don't go really crazy and tie it really tight I'm only gonna do th probably three maybe four turns well that was three turns that looks about perfect and there we go kinda cut it off and here again you'll see that there's a theme with all my um, egg patterns where we're using this um, Glowbug yarn. In this case is UV white, and I, I'll veil it. And I like to use the uh, white veil, and I'll cut off probably about two and a half inches of it to create a veil. And I can get about six flies out of a chunk because we'll just kind of turn it into the sheet and put it halfway one way, half the other way. A couple loose loops, catch it, fold it over, pull it tight and tie it back on itself. That'll give it up with that head it'll also get that fly a nice little core to it. Get on my whip finish tool if I can. A few turns. And what I'll do is I'll just pull this yarn back tight, come right behind the bend and give it a cut. That way we got a veil on this thing which will help us detect the takes. When the fish suck it in that veil kind of helps hang in their teeth a little bit give us a chance to get the hook set especially when these fish are just really taking soft, sucking them in, spitting them out fast. This is that little Estaz egg fly. Real simple, really effective. I do tie these things in three colors or in this case four colors. Get it lined up with the camera here. Primary colors I use. I'm not a really big fan of I got some white glowbug yarn in there getting too overly carried away with our um, egg patterns. The smaller ones obviously I'll use the um, finer Estes.
As I mentioned earlier, uh, this November brown trout fishing is definitely an egg bite. Uh, these fish are really dialed in on feeding on eggs, so very often we're going to have to dead drift with an indicator. We're going to have to just kind of use a non-indicator floating soft drift egg presentation to get to these fish that are bite. Understand at this point, this early November, mid-November when the browns are spawning, the stream bed, the creek beds, the river beds are just saturated with eggs. So very often we're, it's a match to hatch game. Now they're not really going to be much for streamers right now or nymphs. They're going to be just eating those little drifty, as I always joke and call it the egg McMuffin drift. They, they're, they're like egg sandwiches like I do. So it's going to be a lot of match the egg drift type stuff. And that's usually what happens for the first part of um, November, which is what we're doing here. We're fishing in early mid-November. Thanks for watching the video folks. Um, please help us out. Hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so you can get noticed when we put up a new video. Uh, we're still, believe it or not, right in the middle of guide season. So we're still very busy on the water fishing with people. So it's kind of hard for us to get a video out with everything else going. So this will help you notify when we um, get a video. So once again, thanks for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment. The comments helps drive the direction we're heading in.